Cardiac muscle makes up the myocardium, the muscle of the heart. There are two types of cardiac muscle cells, contractile cells and conductile cells. The dominant cells, typically the only cells seen on cardiac muscle slides, are the contractile cells. As seen on this workbook illustration, the contractile muscle tissue is composed of interconnected cells which function as a unit. The cells are described as striated, short, uninucleate, and they branch to join adjacent cells. The cells join end to end at specialized regions called intercalated discs. As seen on this workbook illustration, the intercalated disc house two types of junctions, gap junctions and desmosomes. Gap junctions function in exchange of small substances, especially the electrolytes involved in the electrical conduction for the generation of the heartbeat. The desmosomes provide for strong physical intercellular connections. Cardiac conductal cells typically called Purkinje fibers, are not presented on these cardiac tissue histology slides. Low-power observation shows the contractile cells to be short and branched, and at this magnification only a few intercalated discs are observed. As the slide is scanned, notice the similarity of the tissue, the numerous short, strided, branching cells. Blood vessels, arteries, veins, and especially capillaries can be observed among the cardiac cells. High-power observation shows the detail of the cells. This workbook illustration is compared to a labeled cell that clearly shows striations, a single centrally located nucleus, and intercalated disc. The gap junctions located in the intercalated disc allow the heart to work as a unit, propagating the waves by electrolyte movement for the heartbeat. As the slide is scanned, notice the similarity in the structure of the contractile cells. Notice that these cells, unlike skeletal muscle fibers, are lacking nerve fibers, motor fibers, and their associated neuromuscular junctions. Cardiac muscle has its own conduction pathway, composed of organized conducting cells of the nodes, conductal branches, and the terminal conduction cells, the Purkinje fibers. The topic of cardiac conductal cells will be presented with the Purkinje fiber video. Also, the myocardial infarction video will consider implications involved in the death or damage to the contractile cells. Notice the typical contractile cell centrally shown on this cardiac tissue slide. Can you identify the intercalated disc, striations, and nucleus?